on the same night that the NFL passed a rule allowing coaches to challenge pass interference calls and non-calls, the competition committee admitted they were wrong about a key play near the end of Super Bowl 53. Kraft waves arraignment, requests juror trial with four minutes left in the game and the Patriots up 10-3, Rams wide receiver Brandon Cooks dropped a pass that would have put Los Angeles on the one-yard line. The committee said Tuesday that the play should have been called defensive interference against the Pats. The competition committee said this play should have been interference and the I pointed this out that night, some of you were irritated. It was subtle but by the letter of the law. Pick.twitter.com slash TG2YBNs, Michael Giardi at Mike Giardi, March 27, 2019 If the refs called defensive pie, the Rams would have had a shot at tying the game. Instead, New England went on to claim their sixth Super Bowl title. With the new rule in place, we can expect plays like the one above to be reviewed often. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The New England Patriots are filling out their coaching staff by hiring an old Greg Schiano disciple. The Patriots added Bob Fraser to their coaching staff in an undisclosed role, the Boston Herald's Kevin Duffy reported Tuesday, citing a source. Fraser has worked at both the college and NFL level with Shiano, the Patriots' new defensive coordinator. He spent six years on Shiano's staff at Rutgers from 2006 to 2011, starting as an assistant coach and linebackers coach and working his way up to defensive coordinator. The Allegheny College graduate then followed Shiano to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers working as his linebackers coach in 2012 and 2013 and staying on in 2014 after Shiano was fired. He later joined Shiano at Ohio State as the Buckeyes quality control coach before both left Columbus in 2018. The Patriots have a number of holes to fill on their coaching staff, especially on the defensive side, where linebackers coach Brian Flores, cornerbacks coach Josh Boyer and defensive line coach Brendan Daly all left vacancies. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Robert Kraft's lawyers are fighting battles on several fronts. Media organizations filed a joint motion in Palm Beach County on Tuesday moving to oppose the New England Patriots owner's recent motion to have evidence suppressed by protective order in his solicitation case, attorney Daniel Wallach reported Tuesday night. Breaking, media organizations have moved to intervene in Robert Kraft's solicitation of prostitution case for the purpose of opposing his motion for a protective order to prevent non-parties from gaining access to evidence gathered during the investigation, including videotapes, picked at twitter.com slash tkz7 turn before a Daniel Wallach at Wallach Legal, March 27, 2019 Kraft's legal team filed its motion last Wednesday requesting that any evidence from a Florida human trafficking investigation not be made public. Essentially, the media is filing a counter motion to ensure the video isn't suppressed. Police have said they have video evidence of Kraft entering the Orchids of Asia Day Spa in Jupiter, Florida, and paying cash for sexual favors. Kraft, who maintained his innocence Tuesday by pleading not guilty and requesting a jury trial, obviously doesn't want that video to get out. The sheriff in Martin County, which borders Palm Beach County, said recently he expects video in the case to be made public eventually, since Florida's public records law has no protection on evidence once a case is over. Wallach reiterated that policy Tuesday night on Twitter. Here is how Florida's open records law treats the evidence, including videos, gathered by law enforcement in the Kraft case. Exempt prior to being disclosed to the defendant no longer exempt once turned over to the defense. Unless, disclosure would impede right to fair trial, Daniel Wallach at Wallach Legal, March 27, 2019 As for the case itself, Kraft's jury trial likely won't come in the near future, and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said Tuesday he'll wait on all the facts before determining discipline. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports.
Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.